Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm so happy to see you today. I hope you guys are all doing very well. We're getting super, super close to October 4th when we're gonna be opening at the studio and the gallery that we're doing here. I've been putting so many hours in here trying to make this a very nice place and a very, very good thing, whatever you wanna call it for opening day. I hope everybody that comes out, I hope everybody enjoys it. I know I'm looking, I'm looking really forward to this. This is a big, big milestone for me in my life. I never thought I would be where I'm at today. I never thought I would even be here today, but to be where I'm at today is absolutely amazing and I'm very grateful. I'm also grateful for each and every one of you guys out there that like my videos, that share them, that leave me all the you know nice comments and, and different things. I try to make sure that I get back to everybody for all the questions that you have. Uh, the paintbrushes I just released last week, they sold out in 24 hours, so I want to thank everybody for that too. Um, I have some shirts that I just got, which I am wearing today. Hopefully you can see them. Um, I have a couple different sizes. I will have more coming in. There's links below for everything. Let's get on to what we're here for today. Today we're going to do a short painting. We will be doing the acrylic painting, the golden open painting, but I'm not doing that right now. We're going to do a nice old fashioned oil painting today. Something easy, something to get you back in that mood of painting today. So if you haven't painted before, this is definitely something that you can do. So don't be afraid, get your stuff ready, get everything set up and let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you in two seconds. All right, so the first thing that I did was I painted this canvas with a black gesso and I just let it dry completely dry, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. It's completely dry. I put some of our liquid magic over top of this, which is the Gamblin solvent-free, I use the fluid this time, the solvent-free fluid. It's a little bit, it's not as thick as the gel. It spreads really nice and, and very easy. Uh, it's a product, one of the two products that I extremely love. There are links below, check it out, Gamblin. They make a very, very good product. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna take, uh, I got my one inch going here. I'm gonna take some of our yellow. And I just wanna make uh, something right here. Spread some of this color around real nice and easy. Super simple. Boom, just like that. I'll wipe this off on a paper towel and then we'll switch up colors. Go to some yellow ochre. Make that nice and colorful. Now all I'm doing is using the one inch brush and I'm very carefully just going back and forth. You can totally, you know, totally do this. Very simple, just like that. You see that? I'm not worried. I know it looks on the ugly side right now. Not worried about that whatsoever. But I'm gonna to touch back into that yellow and just put a little bit right there. And I keep wiping every time. I keep wiping this off. I don't clean my brushes during a painting. All right, so now let's go into, let's take some red and a tiny bit of our yellow ochre. Let's see what this looks like here. A little bit more of each. Red and yellow ochre. I'm just whipping it around like that, boom. Easy, right? A little bit more red. I like colors. I, I love vibrant, vibrant colors. Hit a little bit of that in there if you want. Don't be afraid to touch the other color. All right, I'm just wiping this off again. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. So we have red on here, right? You can, if you want to be on the safe side, you can tap right back into, get a little bit of red on there. And I'm gonna scoop right over here to some blue. Set that down right about there, a little bit more red. So I'm taking red and blue. And it's gonna give me, let me wipe this off here. Red, blue, and a little bit of white. So what I'm looking for is like a little purpley color. All right, a bit more red. See, I put that tiny bit of white in there. 
I'm going to do little circles here. See that? Come back down here. Get some more of this paint on here. And because it's purple, you know, you're not going to make really any green. You could kind of come right up here, touch in a little bit. Don't worry too much. I'm even going to take a little bit of a that lighter area right there, and I'm going to come right there like that. See that? Nice little sky, right? All right, wiping this back off. Let's go over here to our actual... A little bit of blue, a little bit of white in there. And I want to throw some of that up here like this. And I'm just kind of getting this color on here. And then we'll add some white to it. Okay. Dip back down into the blue. Let me just step back and take a look. I love to step back and take a look at what we have going on. All right, looking good. And it kind of helps me figure out if I need to add some more color somewhere. Always step back and look at your picture. Take that extra minute and do that. It'll definitely help you. I'm just throwing some of this blue down like this. Not worried if I hit some of that purple area there. Leave some of the dark colors here. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off now. Give it a good wipe, and then we come right here where our purple is. I'm just gonna blend this just a hair, just so there isn't that real distinctive line right there. Just like that, come over here, give it a little bit. All right, and now is when I'm gonna give it another quick wipe again, and I'm gonna take some white this time just a tiny bit of white. You see that there's like literally no white on there at all. And then I want to just come up here and just put some of it just wherever. And I'm pushing harder and lighter and harder and lighter. And that's how I'm getting the different pockets of light and dark. And I'm going to take a little bit of white, and I want a little bit more of a blue color, a little vibrant, vibrant blue. So I just mess around with it until I like it. See? All right, I'm constantly wiping this brush just because I, I don't clean them, which is totally fine. So I'm actually gonna wipe this. You might wanna clean yours. I'm actually just used to wiping mine off and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take some more white paint onto this one inch here and I'm gonna come right about here carefully and I am just going to brighten a little bit of this up and it does kind of help bring it together. But if you have your dirty brush, I would just go ahead and clean it because I'm, I'm very used to doing it just like this. So take a few minutes, pause the video and go ahead and clean yours. All right, just like that, it kind of puts a little bit of something going on in the sky. And if you want, you could take the time and you could put some highlights up here and this and that. I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go back into the yellow 
and I'm just going to sprinkle some of this color down here because I want to put water in here. Somewhere around there like that, maybe. You don't necessarily have to go like this and pull down. You don't have to do that, but if it helps you, you can, you know, you can do it. But I just, I just get the color in. All right. We're repeating the sky steps. We're going to come right up here with some yellow ochre. And let's drop some yellow ochre in here. Right underneath of that, like this. Kind of mix it a little bit. Don't blend it to death. You want some of those colors to show still. <laughs> I'm going to wipe this off now. I got the red on there. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to just carefully go into my blue and I do want to put a little bit of the blue color in here not much we don't need a whole lot just some blue okay okay back to wiping it off and I found that I like to hold the whole roll I don't know why I just feel like you it lasts longer if you do that all right, so now I am going to kind of slide these together carefully real quick and just kind of give them a good work back and forth. We can brighten these up later, but this will just give us a little sense of having, you know, some water. Now, this is, going to, this is easy. This is an easier picture. I just want you to be inspired to want to do something, all right? All right, so I'm going to, I haven't even used a different brush at this point. So let's put in some of our background stuff, like trees and stuff. So... I'm going to take us a nice green. I'm going to mix us a little bit of blue. It's a lot of blue. I want some green, blue, and I want to put a little bit of brown. Give us a nice uh, something. That brown just really kind of helps kind of tone it down a little bit. And I want to put in, how does that look? A little bit more brown maybe. And maybe, you know what, touch of black. How's that look? Just tap right into this. Let's start up here. Little tappings. Back down here, get some more of this paint. And turn it sideways. You can do it up like this, sideways, you know, whatever you want. I like to switch. I like to switch different directions, you know, when I'm using the, the brush. All right, so now we need to get some blue, more blue, black, and some green. I need a little bit of a darker color, some brown. And I want to darken this here. Darken that bottom half up, see? It could be two things. It could be another, you know, like a layer in front of that. Or it could just be the darker spot. This could be the lighter area. This could be the darker area. All right. All right, let's wipe that off. Wipe it, wipe it. And then a little bit of white on here. All right, just any, any white. And that's okay if it turns a little bit like green, even yellow if you want. A little yellow in there, that's fine. See? A little bit, and I want to. I want to put some mist in here. I'm just doing these little baby little circles. See, all right, a little bit more white in there, brighten it up a hair. Now I'm going to wipe it off. All right, so I just use a little bit of white and little circles, stuff like that, see? It'll look a little misty. All right. Go back into our little area here, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And you can keep reloading and doing this. And that'll help you build up 
the you know the little misty area if you want it you don't have to have it all right but i got to pull up on this and kind of blend it in to this area right there all right back into the white i'm actually going to come up here like this i'm really going all out on this mist here you can use a blender if you have a blender i just like using the uh the one inch seems to always work for me uh, just real soft it's just extremely soft you want to be real soft with it and keep some of these little variations of white in there it'll, it'll kind of help it look like you know different little pockets and stuff like that all right all right okay so we got that there now let's see what do we want to do i'm going to go back in take the one inch haven't changed brushes yet blue some black some green and some brown blue black and green and brown and i just want to go right about maybe here see how this looks some more blue in that mix more blue and some more green right in front of that wipe this off getting some blue getting some black getting some green nice dark colors here and I'm just I'm just tapping some you know something in here I don't quite know what it is all right but I am just tapping it in and I'm gonna step back real quick Now some of this, some of this mist, it's like nice to be there. Some of it might not stay. Some of it might go away, but that's all right. That's all right. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of dark color down here. It's mainly green and brown. I just want to, I just want to mix a little bit of it in here and a little bit of it in over here. See that the, the got some of the clear stuff already here. So it's not a big, huge deal. All right. This is just like, sort of like the foundation of what we're doing. Now I'm going to set this one inch brush down and I'm going to grab me a fan brush. Set that out of the way and I'm going to take blue, blue, I'm going to take some black and I'm going to take some green. It's a nice dark color and I got a good amount there and I actually want to put something right about let me check the placement of that. Yeah, good. Good, good. All right. Right about there. And I'm just going to... And I'm not worried about the bottom too much, but I want it to show on the top. Maybe another one right about there. These are big ones, considering. Just the tops. Not worried about down there at all. All right, and then back here we can put some smaller ones, little baby ones back here. Still keeping them the same color though, because I like I like contrast a lot. Like when things are light and then when they're dark. few little things like there maybe all 
All right. So there we have the tops of those showing, the tops of them showing. Well, I guess we could put another little one right there, maybe just a little, a couple little limbs showing back there, see? Not too much work into that one. All right, now we have to figure out our, you know, our, like our land, our, where our highlights and stuff like that's going to go. Now, this is a black canvas, so it's super simple. You saw what we did so far, very easy, right? First thing I want to do is I got to make something back here. I want to separate that little mist line that we have going back there. All right, which I'll use the fan brush to do. Maybe I'll push up a little bit and it'll give some little things going on there. All right, and I want this to kind of come, I want the land to come, I can even sketch this. Look, I want the land to come this way and I want it to come right, open wide right there a little bit and then shoom, just like that. All right, I'll just drag some of this color back. Okay, just like that, let's get a little bit more color. Same thing here, I'm gonna sketch it in. I want it to be thin there. Before I do that, I make this mistake every single picture that I do. I am gonna pull some of this dark color down first. I'm always trying to do it after. Get some of that color under there too. All right, okay, that's done. Come back into here. All right, and here we have this here. Make a couple little, like, I don't know, bushes or something right there. Who knows what that could be, but it's something, a little color over on this side. All right, and now, like, the foundation is, is laid out, right? The foundation for the picture is laid out. Now, I keep saying this, but this is one of them super, super simple, simple pictures, okay? Let me just rip my paper towel here. All right, I'm going to take the, the one inch for right now, and I'm going to wipe that off. Let's wipe it off. I haven't used any paint thinner or anything like that on any of this. Here we go, one inch brush. Let's take, I want to work on a little bit of grass, so I'm going to take some yellow, yellow ochre, both, so both yellows, right? Let's get a little bit of green up in there, see how that looks. So yellow, yellow ochre, green, and let's just put a tiny bit of red in there. The red's going to dull it just a little bit and make it not so of awkward looking green color, all right? So I just tapped on that a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to start right about here because I want to figure out where our land is going to start. So I'm using just a little, you know, a little bit more paint than I normally would. But I'm still just using our yellows and a little bit of red. Okay. And this is our first area here. You don't have to use the one inch, I'm just using it. You can use any brush to do this. Okay, so there we have that there. Now, sun is like in this area here, so here was that little tree. So I'm gonna just drop in another area of land right about here and carefully bring that right off. Make a little hill there if you want. You can shape what you want to do. You can shape what you want. You can shape your land with this, okay? If you want to make it a little bit brighter, you can do that too. Just get a little bit more yellow, see? Just like that. Simple stuff. All right. So using yellow, yellow ochre, and still using a little bit of red. And I'm just right now, yeah, just kind of mapping in where I want stuff. Right about there, you know, put a little something there. This is the sort of like the mid-tone area. And if I can get you guys to do this, I mean, you just got to have fun. Like, I, I do not do this really for any other reason. I just like doing it. See, I want to make a hill here, so I'm changing the angle of the brush. See that? I'm changing the angle because I want to lay out 
some form of a hill. Okay, yellow, green, yellow ochre, red. Nice color. Nice color. Okay, so we're going to go up here and start right about here. Okay, go back down. I'm reloading too. I'm not like pressing too many times the brush. I, I go down and I get more paint and I come back up. And I come back down and figure out. I love doing this. I really do love. You could use the two inch for this also. Two inch might be a little bit easier if you're using a bigger canvas. Completely. See this soft, it's a very soft touch. I'm barely, barely touching it. I'm just laying out the ground where I want stuff. Some more yellow, more green. A little bit of that red in there, beautiful colors. Okay. And then let's put some here. Right across like that. A little hill in the front here, right? Softly, softly tapping, boom. See that? Maybe there's one kind of right there too. All right, so if you look at this at this point, you can sort of see what the land looks like. Well, at least I hope you can. <laughs> I hope you can, all right. So we do have to move back here for a second and Get me some yellow, get some more of that green color in there. Actually, let's get a little bit of blue back there. So I got some blue, yellow, and some green. And I want to do this area here. I want to actually bring that, and this is not as like pronounced, this is more dull back here. Wrap that right, just like that. And feel free, you can change uh, your land as much as you want. See? But it does give an idea. This is, it's just my favorite part, my favorite part of, of doing this. Now, let me, I wipe the brush off, and I, what I do is, before I do that, let me step back. Okay, I always take the, the brush. I don't tap the top area where the brightest color is when I lay out the, the land, but I tap the inside and it helps blend with that dark a little bit better. And just like one tap, two taps, move on. You don't wanna kill the whole thing. You'll blend the whole thing in and you won't like it, okay? Let's grab the knife before we move on. I want to get a nice, just a greenish color, something green, a little bit of blue in there maybe, greenish blue. All right, I'm going to hold this, put a little line there. This actually does, the water goes that way. Get a little bit of that on there like this. Well, that is a nice color, isn't it? Just make a nice little something here. See that? Gives you some, some form of a water line. You know, it may not be the best one, but, you know, I made it in about two seconds. See? Spread some of it out this way, like this. Spread it all around, doesn't matter. Pull some of it this way. Be creative, you know. Some of that water dips back into there. Who knows? I don't know. All right, you see that? Drop some of it down there like this. We can always put that bush back in later. Wipe this knife off real quick. And if you want, you could 
you can absolutely take another fan brush and you can fan some of this out if you want to, just to make it look a little bit more soft. See that? Give it a whole nother effect. See that? Swat it back and forth. It's up to you. You don't have to do this, but you sure can. See? Okay. Let me set that down, go back to our dirty fan brush, and then get some blue, some black, green. And I just want to put this nice little dark bush right there. Kind of like that bush, so I put it back. And you can add some if you want over to here. You know, it's up to you. There's so many things you can do just to add little, little textures and boom, boom, all over the place. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, wiping off the one inch. I have used the one inch and the fan brush so far. So I'm gonna wipe this off and I wanna get me some yellow ochre, some yellow, and some white. Maybe a little red, who knows? A little green too. See how this looks. More white. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off actually. Let's take some yellow here, put it right there. A little bit of white in it. All right, tap into that. See this here? So I'm thinking about our light is in this area here. So I want to put a little bit right there. I'm going to go right back down here and put some right there, just like this. See that? Right about there. So we figure if, if our light is here, maybe we'll see some here on this little hill there. All right, maybe, well, probably wouldn't see much back there, but maybe just a little bit here, I don't know. And you can change this. So adding a little bit there, and I think we would see some right there. So some more yellow and some right there. Maybe some on the edge there. See that little bit going into the water right there like that. And you can play around with this until, until you're happy. But, but my point is, is I want to show you the usage of light and how to use light in your different, in your paintings. Okay. It's very, very, very effective when you do that. So let me get some yellow on here, actually. Let me get some white. White and yellow. Now I have a little bit of, I think I have a little green in here, you know, but, but you can absolutely like, you know, brighten this up if you wanted to. You could brighten it right up, you know, do some cool little something. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've never done this before, but I'm just sprinkling. Let me wipe that off actually. <laughs> Wipe it off, a little bit of white. Let me get a little bit of white on there, in the middle there. I just felt like I needed to do that because I put this bright color on the land and it needed to be brighter in the sky. So I'm wiping off this with the one inch now and then, ooh. I do have some green up there. That's okay, because I don't worry about stuff like that. So 
I'm just softening this up real quick. Okay. Let's get one swat of white right in there. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. I think you get the point, right? What I'm trying to do here. I just wanted to brighten the background up. Okay. So there we have that. Now, if you want, you could, you could grab some, uh, some more white and you could get some of that pure yellow. This is if you really wanted to go like crazy with your highlights and get white and yellow and tap right into that and then like put one or two bright areas, real bright areas. And these are extremely, it's like almost pure white. You don't have to do this though. You know, only if you want to. See that? Okay, I'm wiping this off again. Now I'm holding the paper towel, I gotta get rid of that. So all right, now now's when you can come back on the bottom edge, see this? And you can do just a few little taps and this will kind of tie the light into the dark a little bit better, see? Just like one or two taps, don't do too much. You do the same thing over here just softens it just a hair Can you see that pretty simple now I do want to take a little bit of the not as bright color like a green because this here is in shadow because there's a little bush there see that a little bush area so I'm gonna wipe this off what color should I make that bush let's do let's take some yellow ochre and some red yellow ochre and some red let's try that and just touch a little i'm like using the one inch brush for this whole thing see that <laughs> put some down here when you get frustrated with that just grab your knife a little green little red Get your knife out and then just do it with the knife. Make some stuff, see? Little circles and things, see that? Tap it, tap it, and then, and then pull some branches out from it. But this is only when you get frustrated <laughs> with the uh, wet paint. little sticks and stuff hmm interesting interesting now get some brighter color on the knife and put some little I don't know flowers don't know what they would be but they could be right so I'm just taking the corner of the knife and I'm just tapping. The yellow ochre in there, different colors, a little red. Something like that. Let me set this one inch brush down and take a look at this real quick. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to just kind of, I think I'm going to make some little scratches here also. If you guys watch me and you know me, you know I love doing this. Little thingies, little scratch marks. All right, and I'm going to take some green now and 
yellow ochre, a little bit of that dark color, dark green. Get some of the green on the knife. And just do a little bit of something here. This tree here. Get that color down and then you can just kind of work with it. Just work it around, you know. You could leave them black if you want. You know, or if you do that and you want to put your dark color back in, just come right back up here. And we have knife trees, tree knives, tree knife trees. Something like that. Now they're really good at texture on that thing. Nice. Interesting. Interesting. White, brown. I guess the least we can do is make a little something in here, a little indication of something, right? Something like that. You can just come in here and mess some of it up. It'll just give an indication. Sharpen the top. I love doing this too. Sharp tops. But what I am going to do, and at this point, I think I'm just talking to myself at this point. Like, I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying because I think I mumble way too much. Take the knife and put a little bit of something right there. See that? It's like texture. Get some dark color now to hit that bottom. Love texture. Love texture. Let's take some brown, red, a little bit of white. Make it look like uh, could be a rock, right? Maybe. Who knows? Blue and black. Make it dark now. It's a dark color right over it. More black. A lot of rocks now. We went from one rock. Now it's all rocks. I'll darken that some more. Well, I guess if we have them there, we better put a few here too, right? Something. <laughs> There's all kinds of rocks going on here. Okay, so there we got that. Let me just take a step back and see what do we got here. What do we got here? I think what I'm going to do, since I got this dirty fran, fran brush, it's a fran br fan brush, I'm going to put in, I just want to put in a bigger tree right here. So, blue, black, green. Blue, black, and green. And we'll come right. I kind of want to leave that little one if I can. I'm just going to go right here. Just make me a little line because I love doing that. And pick a corner. Pick a corner. Or green. Sorry about that tree in the background. A little shadow here now, just kind of tap in. Get some more green on there. And well, now we got to put one here. Just so we don't have that little bare spot.
something like that. Well, I guess that mist sh sort of showed through, huh, in the background. All right, now I need to get a lighter green and our yellow here. Not too, too light. So I haven't thinned anything down still. So I just have a nice yellow and a green and I'm just going to, some of this might not really show, but just want to put some, you know, some light color on it just to mix it up a hair. Maybe put some back there too, just a little bit. All right. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. You can really just keep adding stuff. Like me, sometimes I just go overboard doing this. You could put more trees back here if you want. See, look, take some of this lighter color. You know, maybe there's something going on back there that we don't know about. Swirl it, do this, that. It'll all look like something at the very end, you know. And see what do we got here now maybe just a little bit of something here like this I don't know <laughs> tie these rocks together give them a few little love taps something there up there like that yeah you could just keep going and just doing all kinds of stuff it depends on you let's put a bright something right Right there, yeah, like that, boom. This is all for fun. That's what it's all about. It's just, it's all for fun. Me personally, I'm not serious. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said at the very end there, none of this is seriousness. You guys, each and every one of you that watch me, that have watched me in the past, you guys all know why I do this. I'm not trying to compete with anybody else. You know, I'm not expecting to ever be in any kind of a nice gallery or anything like that. I do this for myself, and I hope that you guys that watch this get something. I hope at least one of you gets something or anything from this. That's why I'm doing this. So if anybody that's on here that wants to call me like the cheap Bob Ross or the tattooed Bob Ross or this or that, thank you. I appreciate that. Any dislikes or any kind of negative comments actually the more that I think about it is actually very very welcome because even the people that dislike my videos and the people that leave the bad comments believe it or not but you are really helping this community because by doing that you're still pushing the video further out to other people so any feedback is great feedback but I want to thank all my followers and subscribers and all the people for all the support I love each and every one of you have a great day I'll see you very soon take care